Yeah, so this was an interesting one to me. And I think it was interesting because, I mean, as you know, I've been following HPE on the security side for quite some time, right? Uh, it started back in 2017 with Silicon Rooted Trust and, you know, through all their permutations of, of or the expansion of their security portfolio. Uh, and I mean, to this day, they, they really have done an amazing job in kind of driving platform level security. When you think about security, you know, your mind usually goes to the, uh, you know, to the Palo Altos of the world or, or the, uh, you know, the info blocks, as we're going to talk to, but um, HPE, you know, like Cisco and other and Dell and others build security in, and they, they do their annual report. They had some interesting stats in there. Um, uh, they, you know, go and speak to their customers. And I think they uh, spotted out, there was a 1.2 billion events logged per day, um, security events logged per day on HPE based systems. And that can be anything from an attempted uh, phishing attack to uh, to ransomware to uh, DDoS kind of um, uh, attacks, right? So, um, but 1.2 events a day, they were 1.2 billion events a day they were logging, uh, and just it's incredible to me. Yeah, that this or yeah, here we go. I'm sorry, 2.6, not 1.2. Um, you know, they blocked one a th over a thousand phishing attempts per day um, in their average customer. It's amazing to me when you think about the scale um of the what an enterprise goes through the scale of attacks that they have to fend against and when you think about companies like hpe and others that kind of take all this work out of the you know out of the hands of it and just automate the um the response and support how effective they can um how effective these tools are and how invaluable they are to it i mean to an it person like me um it's incredible so just i was staggered by some of the numbers and i thought it was certainly worth reading for it folks out there um what they've done yeah for sure and and kind of a backdrop right we we have evolved from let's say perimeter based security which mm -hmm. says no bad guys get in right <laughs> um this is very much perimeter uh security in terms of what they offer but they all, all also offer um hey the bad guys are in now what do we do and then the final step of this is are things like remediation, like getting your data back, uh, ransomware. So the company really, really, really is an end-to-end -end, uh, security uh, company. They do a lot of a lot of stuff on the edge uh, as well with Aruba, things mm -hmm. like uh, Passport. But what I like about the cybersecurity reports is is it gives to you. Uh, listen, products are important but it gives you a high level view of what they're seeing in the industry. And it, they lay out their proof point, why they think they're going to be good at looking at this in the future. And one of the things, one of the, uh, one of the trends in security is that it's so complex to pull all, all this stuff together. And, and what happens, right? You've got two ways you can do two ways. You can look at security best, you know, quote unquote, best of breed, Let's have multiple point solutions that, that I think are best uh, vertically and horizontally in the stack. Mm -hmm. And then I can go with a suite. What mm -hmm. people are realizing is that the time and effort it takes to integrate and pull together all those quote unquote best in breed products, you're two or three revisions behind. And just based on the integration, you, you potentially have created more security issues. So uh, suites are in insecurity. And, and by the way, that is just the wheel of innovation where something new comes out. It's best to breed. It's let's say order of magnitude better, but then the rest of the industry uh, catches up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some, I would say might be over serving that market, adding too many features, yeah. right. That, that are only used by maybe 5% of the end user base. But anyways, uh, nice to see HP leaning in there. And by the way, from a from a server uh, point of view, I mean, root of trust and all they're they're doing with uh, uh, ILO is is impressive as well. Yeah, you know, it's funny you say that. Uh, I, I read a report once that uh, that HPE sponsored that showed that I think the average enterprise has forty one uh, point security solutions. And I actually was talking to a C CISO a few weeks back who said they had one hundred and ninety solutions in house. And trying to integrate them is impossible. Trying to find the the staff to manage that is impossible from a cost perspective and just from a the resources aren't there, right? 
and, and to what you're saying on the, the HPE side, what I really like about what they did with Silicon Rooted Trust is be, you're right beyond the perimeter. Once, once you've been, once you've been infiltrated and ransomware can sit for months at a time in an environment, literally months at a time, just bleeding data out slowly. That's unrecognizable to a lot of solutions because they keep the traffic level so low. But be, what they've done with Silicon Rooted Trust and ILO is they've made the detection of those kind of infiltrations and near immediate. Yeah. Um, so they shut it down almost immediately and it really reduces the cost. And by the way, they're not the only ones out there, but they really have led the market and done a fantastic job with it. 